everyone, welcome to Hedgehog Hollow. So today I am showing you whether this new product is worth the money because I love to be able to share with you whether something's good, bad, indifferent, um, and maybe save you some money with your crafting budget as well. So I just bought these We Are Memory Keepers washi tape runner and some of their washi tapes. And the idea is rather than us having to tear it and be in a mess all the time, you can pop it in here and use it like a tape runner. So we're gonna see whether that really works. So we're gonna open everything up. Now in the meantime, of course, don't forget to hit that subscribe button, ring the bell, give us a thumbs up, all of those fun things. And we have a whole playlist of product reviews, which I'm gonna add this to. I'm also adding it to our two minute tip series because I'm gonna try and keep it super brief. Um, because it doesn't look complicated, but I guess we'll find out. Um, but you can go and check out all of those videos for uh, reviews if you're thinking of buying something or possibly um, if you just want some quick tips to help in your crafting. So I'm just starting this off because I know I'm gonna need an end for it. And then this is my little tape runner. So this is how it comes. It has a tear perforator there that you can pull forward and actually do your perforations. And now we just have to work out how to put our tape runner on here. So I'm gonna assume in some way that this pops out. Uh, let's have a look on the back of the instructions. So, this piece slides off. Well, we're doing well. Okay, let's try these clips over here. Okay, so if you see you push in there, this actually comes open. So that's pretty simple. Then we're gonna put our tape roll in with our roll going down, down and out like this. So it's following the profile of the mouse. And this piece is squidgy in the middle here. So the idea is that you can fit any size of washi tape in this piece here. And then you just pop it down here under the roller and it goes under the roller like this. And then we're gonna pop our top piece back on again. Simple. You see how that goes and then I'm going to just tear off a nice neat edge. Okay, so let's try it out. So we're gonna go down, make sure our blade is retracted, go down, okay, I'm done. There you go, how simple was that? And no torn edge, no torn washi. So I have to say, I think this might be a hit. So we retract, we roller, and then we tear. I mean, that's pretty easy. And I like how much control I'd have on the back of an envelope. Yes, it's easy enough to take it off, but I find with washi quite often, because it is a paper-based tape, it tends to like tear on angles. Whereas this is gonna take it off with even pressure. Um, I'm sure Greg's gonna have the technical term for me after as to how that goes. But because you're pressing down with a roller, you've got even pressure. Um, and of course you could even do, you're gonna get some folds in it, but you can, you know, you can go in different directions. Or of course you can just keep going straight and then you can tear. So you've got lots and lots of different options. Maybe if you want to go around the edge of something curved and you don't mind those, or if you're just reinforcing, but this is straight out cut. I mean, that's pretty simple. And I like the fact you have a neater edge than a torn edge. So that's just my two cents. It wasn't extremely expensive either. I'll add some links in the video description, but that is today's review. And I think it is something I will be keeping in my drawer to use on a regular basis. So I hope that helps you in your decision as well. I'll see you again very soon. Happy crafting everyone. Bye.